Stop! Please stop it! I'm sorry, ma'am. These gentlemen are going in. Sir, I know them well. They're good people. Besides, no one got hurt, and I've already taken care of the damages. What is she saying about me? I want you to take my statement. Yeah, don't go by her words. They started it. If y'all don't settle down, things might get worse. I'll make sure it does. Ma'am, if I ask these gentlemen what happened tonight, what do you think they're likely to tell me? <sighs> the blonde one was trying to pick a fight with us, and it just got messy. Please let us go. I promise it won't happen again, officer. So the blonde one and his sidekick are not your friends then? Actually, he is my ex-husband. The blonde one, I mean. <laughs> so your ex-husband started fighting your friends. His friend joined in, and now you want us to let you go with just a warning? A very stern warning. <laughs> Tell your friends to figure out whose lawyer is getting a midnight phone call. Officer, if I may speak with you privately. Hmm. You've got one minute. What are they talking about? Devin, you think I should intervene? No, please don't. My boy there is getting us out of trouble like he always does. Always? What do you mean? <laughs> they left. See, I told y'all. <sighs> Boys, tonight never happened. Hey, are you okay? Yeah, last night was something. I think we got lucky. Easy for you to say. See? <laughs> You're the best brother a girl could ever ask for. And I haven't even told you the good news yet. Oh, what's that? So, I've been thinking about Matilda. Go on. Clearing Matilda's name might be tricky, but we can figure it out later. For now... We need to get her out. Don't tell me you've got a plan. Oh, but I do, sister. I say we send someone in. What, like a spy? Yeah, sort of. Martin knows a service that provides discreet help. We can hire them and send over a new maid or something. Martin? I know it sounds scary, but he's on board. Hmm, Martin does seem trustworthy. Yeah, he's a good guy. He will help us contact and set up the new maid. It's all airtight. It sounds really, really risky. But not a bad idea. Let me think about it. Well, the thing is, um, I already sent the new maid over this morning. What? You sent the double agent already? Why the heck didn't you tell me, Devin? Well, I'm telling you now. Devin, you could have checked with me once. You... Dang, I have a meeting with Dad. Can I text Matilda and give her a heads up? Or she needs to be surprised as well. Yeah, tell her as soon as you can. She needs to know she has got an ally. I really hope this works out. Can I come in, Dad? You are late. Sorry, I was stuck in traffic. All right, all right. Don't repeat it. Aye, aye, Captain. Okay, smart girl. Pop quiz. Demand is low and you need to justify production. What do you do? Um... I would draw up a new marketing strategy, focusing on new and social media, and send congratulations packages to D and C list celebrities. Hmm. I must say, that's an interesting idea. Not quite standard, but effective. Martin helped me brainstorm that one not too long ago. Mm-mm. <clears throat> I don't like Martin. But why, Dad? He's been so helpful. There's just something fishy about him. I know Devin trusts him a lot, but you better be careful around him. I will be. Don't worry, Dad. I know I haven't always been cautious, especially when it comes to the men in my life. But I learned my lesson with Chris. The hard way. I'm glad to hear that. I regret the part I had in pushing you two together. I never wanted any harm to come to you, Sabrina. Dad, you are not responsible for any of it. Trust me. You didn't know Chris would behave the way he did. It was my choice to stay in that marriage for that long. Ah. Uh. But it's a father's duty to protect his daughter from vile men like Chris. Even when the daughter was desperate for that vile man? Especially then. Mr. Collins, Mr. Dean has been waiting for Miss Collins for quite some time. Better go see what that's about. Can we finish our meeting after lunch? Yes. Sabrina, remember, be careful with Martin. I think I can handle anything Martin Dean throws at me. 
Nevertheless, I'll keep my guard up. I'm serious, Sabrina. Don't let your trusting nature land you in hot water. <sighs> Dad, I appreciate your concern. Really, I do. But Martin is not exactly a man of mystery. Trust me. He has a sister. She's disabled. Okay. Well, I'm sure he will tell me all- He's keeping her a secret. From everyone. But why? Surely Devin knows. I don't think so. But I can't be sure. Why haven't you told Devin about Martin's secret sister then? Especially when you knew he was going to introduce Martin to me. I... I was about to. I don't get it, Dad. If his sister is disabled, how does that make him look bad? Uh, Martin's not a bad guy or anything, but he feels super guilty about an accident that left his sister paralyzed. His sister, Marisula. Sula? Not a lot of people know this, but Martin's real last name isn't Dean. He changed it after he came into some money. Dad, are you sure about all this? Well, do you remember when you were younger? You had a fight with a girl at your school. You both got detention, but she escaped and there was an inexplicable fire right after. Uh-huh. That little girl was the one who started the fire. She is Martin's sister. What? I never knew that. <sighs> Your brother loves Martin like he is family. And I could never figure out why. Martin has been good until this point. Why would he cause any trouble now? You know how it is. If it feels wrong, then that's because it usually is. I can't help but suspect. Right, I understand. This is a lot to process. I'll get going. I worry that you might be a target, Sabrina. Don't worry about me, Dad. If Martin truly has any bad intentions, he has another thing coming entirely. Hey, Sabrina. How are you? Hey, Martin. I'm good. So what brings you to my office today? Next week's party will be hosted on Saturday. We've invited a lot of our business partners, and it will be an excellent opportunity for you to meet them and get ahead. That's great. Also, I just wanted to say thank you for helping with Matilda. That was really nice of you. Please, Sabrina. It was nothing. Devin will be there with Lizzie, so I'll just say we broke up in case I run into Chris. <laughs> He's going to lose his mind. I hope that when my pregnancy starts to show, it won't be an issue. And where are you running off to? Lizzie, I, I, I'll tell you about it later. What have you got for me? Who is Devin talking to on the phone? What secret plans is Devin involved in that require him to talk secretly? Hi, Sabrina here. I hope you are enjoying the show Lose You to Love Me. If you're wondering what happens next, click on the link in the description to listen to the full audio series. You can also watch the next episode here in the playlist.